Shalom. Well. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash, and also as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is feeding the flock through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I'm also as well, Shalom, well, to the hopefully elect as well that's continually laboring his work. And also do labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. Now, um, <clears throat> the topic of this video, the title of this video is going to be entitled Partaking in the Lord's Cup. Okay, which is, um, <clears throat> you know, pursuing unto, you know, an account with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who these people inwardly call Jesus, and which is uh, his true name in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and likewise also uh, the name of the Heavenly Father as well. Whose name is uh, Yahweh, which his name is also in ancient Hebrew as well. Um, the account is uh, regarding Yahweh Shai when he was approached by uh, by a woman, you know, Israelite woman, and um, asked him a question regarding her her two sons. All right, and um, you know, and that whole account was going into uh, partaking or Yahweh Shai asking the woman, you know, are they able to to drink? Of that same cup that he was going to drink. All right. Now, when Yahweh Shai said that, all right, that means that um, the things that he was going to go through, are they able to uh, bear that? All right. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and hop right into it. You know, I have the precept pulled up here. Uh, so it's the book of uh, Matthews, uh, chapter 20. And uh, let's see, it's like. Slide of verse uh, 20, so Matthew 20 and 20, and um, you know, like I said at the beginning, you know, this is a question that was uh, posed to uh, Yahweh Shai, in which uh, regarding uh, the woman's two sons, in which um, you know, is also indicative to the servants of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, you know, uh, the, the men of the Lord, okay, because guess what, that, that cup is being distributed right now. All right, even uh, the disciples of old, back when Yahweh was in the flesh, you know, uh, the disciples, which later became apostles, they had to partake in that, that cup as well. All right. But the thing is, is that Yahweh Shai, you know, since he is, um, like the scriptures say, he's the first and the last, you know, he's basically uh, the, the forerunner of these things which were to come. All right. And. The, the the lot that he was given was more pronounced than any of his men that follow him. All right, which, in other words, when he uh, was going, or when he was uh, partaking the journey, and uh, he was uh, given that lot to, uh, or he was given a the lot, then the end result of that. Or the major, uh, the major event, or you know, roughly paraphrasing, or for lack of a better term, you know, the basically what he had to go through was uh, being uh, crucified. All right, being put to death. All right, not only by the Romans, which were Edomites, which is the uh, true biblical nationality, the so-called white man, but also as well his own people, the Israelites, which today are being called so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. You know he had to suffer. Uh, he had to suffer a, a great multitude uh, of things, which led up to his death. But ultimately, it led to him receiving glory. All right, which that is uh, that's the cup that which he uh, part part uh, took in. All right, which led to him receiving that glory to to be seated on the right hand of the heavenly Father and to be given all things. All right. So likewise with the, uh, the servants of the Lord, you know, partaking in that cup, you know, which again, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai being uh, the savior was uh, going to his, his lot was more pronounced, which in other words, him being crucified now for the servants. All right. The servants or, or, or the, uh, the men of the Lord, you know, we're also going to partake in that same cup, but we all are going to have our own journey. You know, we're all going to have our own uh, temptations, our own trials to go through. 
in order to receive the reward that Yahweh shall receive. That's why you read in the scriptures, and I believe it's Romans, the eighth chapter. It says that we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read the account here. This is out of the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 20. It says, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with the sons worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom. All right? So again, this is this woman. That I posed this question to you, how was I to have her two sons sit on the right hand on the left? But this is uh, Yahweh Shai's response. Okay, verse 21. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said, A oh, slog at verse 22. He said, But Yahweh Shai answered and said, You know not what you ask. So he was telling her, Look, you know, you don't even know what you're asking for right now. Because, you know, she didn't consider that the Lord was going to have to go through. All type, all manners of hell to uh, receive that kingdom. All right, and he told her. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. It says, uh, "Are ye able to drink of the cup that I I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with?" They said unto him, "We are able." And they told him, "Yeah, we we're able to do that." Okay, which again, you know, the, uh, when he, when he's telling them that they didn't understand. At that time, what he was talking about. Okay. See, the cup that the Lord was going to drink in, and that baptism they was going to be baptized with, right? Which is a, a form of cleansing, right? Which that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. Which that's that's a good that's a good topic to go into, uh, the baptism of Yah of Yahweh Shai. Um. You know that they didn't realize that you know the cup he's going to partake in, the baptism he's going to partake in was was uh, a form of him uh, uh, cleansing himself of his of his past dues. You know, roughly paraphrasing. If you can receive it, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. But also as well, these things were set forth in front of him to uh, gain the reward, to gain the kingdom. All right. Um, verse twenty three. And this is what he told them after they uh, replied and say, yeah, they're able to. And he said unto, him, unto them, you shall drink indeed of my cup. All right. So he said, yeah, you're definitely going to drink of this cup. You, you are indeed going to drink of this cup. All right. And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. So he was telling them that it's not his decision. To uh to place them on the right hand, one of them on the right hand and the other on the left, but that was given over to the heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay. So, but you know the key point in the scripture, you know when he told them that to have them to have them sit on the right hand on the left, he said, look uh, now as far as having them sit on the right hand on the left hand. You know, it's not his his decision, but to partake in that cup and to partake in that baptism, he told him, "Yeah, you're you're going to indeed drink of that." All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on from there. That's the book of John, chapter 15, and uh, verse 20. It says, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. All right? So, like it says here, the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right? So, the part, to, to, uh, so to be a part of this, all right. To be uh, under uh, service to Yahweh Shai, you have to you have to take you have to partake in that baptism in the cup which he drank. Okay, and um, actually I'm gonna grab another preset that goes right into it. Right. Um, actually, let me go ahead and grab it right now. I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, all right, it's the Book of Matthew, so chapter 16. 
in uh, verse 21, it says, From that time forth began Yahweh Shah to show his disciples, show unto his disciples, how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Right, and that's the point. So he told his disciples, look, it's going to get to a point to where the, the time is coming where he's going to uh, suffer many things. All right. From the elders, the chief priests, the scribes, uh, basically his own people. All right. And to be delivered up to death. Okay. So now in this time, how these scriptures play into, into the day's generation, you know, don't, don't be surprised if you have Jake's that uh, try to deliver us over to Esau. You know, don't be surprised if you have Jake's or our people who uh, persecute us, you know, and, um, and try to have us taken out, okay? So again, I'm gonna read it again, verse 21. It says, from uh, that, that time forth began Yahweh Shai to show unto his disciples how that he may that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. Right. And um another thing too, like I said earlier, is that the Lord, you know, he had to go through those things and ultimately be crucified. Now you're gonna have men, and even Yahweh Shah said this is that you're gonna have uh, certain of uh, the men of the Lord who's, who won't taste death. Okay, actually, let me see if I can get that. That was like. All right, so the book of Matthew, chapter 16. And um, start at verse 27 says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. All right? And we're getting close to that time right now. And this scripture plays into, to, into today's time. Because when Yahushua returns, you know, it's going to be some of us, all right, that are not going to taste death. All right? It's going to be a, a number of us that's not going to going to taste death, all right, until we see the Son of Man coming in his glory, all right? But you are going to have something that's going to be martyrs for Yahweh Shai, all right? So I'm going to go back. Uh, yeah, I believe that's it on this scripture. Yeah, that's going to grab the point on that. So the point with that on that is that the Lord is going to suffer many things of the uh, of His people and be delivered and be put to death. Okay. So likewise today, you know, we since we are partaking in His baptism and His cup, guess what? We got to suffer these things from our own people, and not only from our own people, also the, from uh, from from Esau, or these other nations. All right, catching purity hell, but that's okay. Because at the end of this, we, we understand that this is uh, the lot that the Lord gave us and that it's an honor to receive the things of which he received. All right. Because at the end of that, he received his glory. So likewise, us, when we, you know, if we endure, like the scriptures say, endure to the end, the same shall be saved. All right. And, and that's, that's the reward. Okay. But uh, I'm going to hop back to John chapter 15. Um, right, John chapter 15, verse 20, it says, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Right, so they persecuted Yahweh Shai. Then guess what? They're going to persecute us because, you know, if you can receive it, we are those same people that were there during, during the time of Yahweh Shai when he was uh, teaching. All right, and this the scripture what he was telling the ones that were there, 
his disciples, guess what? Uh, he was also talking about this time as well. Okay? Because if you read on, right, it says, uh, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So from the, from the time that we was going to start teaching and prophesying, guess what? If they have kept the sayings of Yahweh Shai, then they will also keep our sayings in this time. Okay? Uh, verse 21 says, But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. See that? Because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come, I'm reading this last verse. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. All right. So now these people have heard the words of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. Guess what? There's no. Guess what? There, there's no longer a cloak for their sins because they rejected Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm talking about the majority of our people. Okay. And it's going to get to the point where they're going to get physical. All right. You know, they, they hear us on the other side, right? But it's going to get to a point in time where they're going to step in and um, try to assist or attempt to assist Esau in his endeavors and trying to uh, uh, grab us up and to destroy us. But the Lord's already got taken care of. Okay, Yahweh Bashmel Shai knows knows what's going on, man. And he's not gonna leave his servants, all right, the the men that trusted in him, out to die. Okay, like the scriptures say, uh, the Lord's not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love that you showed towards him. Okay, but uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out on that note. Uh, Lord's will is indeed edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this day. And also, our Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the whole elect that's uh, laboring this work and are uh, continuing to labor and show forth your diligence to make a call and election sure. And faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. And with that, let's say Shalom.